All right, how about some celebrity dish this morning? Oh, yes, I have an appetite. This morning we have some extra help, entertainment expert, writer, and the king of cocktails, Paul Zahn, <laughs> and of course, our girl, Autumn Joy. So glad to have you both. Thank you for having us. Ooh. It's juicy. Yeah, it's juicy and, and the topics always. are juicy, so mm -hmm. we don't want to waste any time. Let's get right in. First up, Harry Styles is addressing the rumors that he spent on his co-star Chris Pine at the Venice Film Festival. This was going mega viral. Uh, Harry taking time out of his set at Madison Square Garden to make fun of the video that appears to show him spitting on the lap of Chris Pine, setting off a Twitter fire with speculation that the two are at odds, and fueling more speculation around the behind-the-scenes drama of their film, Don't Worry Darling. It's coming out soon, but take a look. This is our 10th show at Madison Square Garden. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to be back in New York. I just popped very quickly to Venice to spit on Chris Pine. <laughs> okay, well, Chris uh, also responded with a statement from his representative, shutting down the rumors, calling them, quote, ridiculous stories. Aside from the rumors that Harry and Chris are feuding, there's been some drama, apparently, allegedly, between Don't Worry Darling lead Florence Pugh and Harry's rumored girlfriend and director of the film, Olivia Wilde. I'm tired. It's just too much going on. Too much drama. Olivia's been lying. She's been lying. <laughs> and they have the tape to roll back. Yeah. So, I mean, come on. Come clean. Did you all see the spit, though? What do you think? I don't think he's bad. You don't think, I don't okay. think he's bad. I think, okay. And I think Chris Pine is just over the whole junket and this whole thing, so mm -hmm. he's doing whatever he can, so to entertain himself. So that's what I think. I don't think he's Look bad. at that. Initially, I, I thought he did do it. I thought there was some kind of beef, but now that I look back on it, I see him laugh, Chris Pine laughing, and now they're talking about it. I think they were all in on it. I think mm. it was a joke to stir up publicity for the movie, and uh, they already got a lot of publicity, but I think that they're all in on it. Yeah. And he, he did the fake spit, and he was clapping, and he was like this, and then he started laughing, because normally if somebody spits on you, you're going to get up and punch him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was too so, yeah. calm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was too calm, so... Yeah. It's going to be an in. Oscar situation. The movie better be good, though. The movie yeah. better be good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to see right. it. I know yeah. it go. hasn't gotten the best reviews, but <laughs> yeah. I the yeah. trailer oh. looks good to me. Yeah. Did I okay. just say that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the streets are mm -hmm. talking. Let's get into Zac Efron now, because he's setting the record straight when it comes to those plastic surgery rumors. Mm -hmm. Producer Chris, an expert, maybe you're an expert in plastic surgery. I don't know. <laughs> what? Uh, you're in the control <laughs> room with the about face. I thought you were going to say Zac Efron <laughs> That I will claim credit on, for sure. I've never seen a high school musical, but anyway. So Zac kept a pretty low profile throughout the pandemic, but he had a blink and you'll miss a cameo in an Earth Day video. This was back in April of 2021, I believe, and it sent social media into a tailspin because people were convinced that he had plastic surgery on his jaw. We talked about it right here on Good Day DC. However, now he's opening up about that and his Baywatch body in the pages of Men's Health. You see the cover right there. This is the side-by-side -side that led to that online brouhaha. Zach tells the magazine he shattered his jaw last year after slipping while running in his house in socks. He says he hit the corner of a fountain, he passed out, and when he woke up, quote, his chin bone was hanging off of his face, which sounds extremely painful. He says during his recovery, his facial muscles got really big to compensate for the injury. He says he then worked with a physical therapist to get back to normal. This is actually the second time he has broken his jaw. He did it for the first time back in 2013. Meanwhile, he is also opening up about his now infamous Baywatch body and the toll that getting ripped took on his both physical and mental health. He says he was taking powerful diuretics to stay shredded during the film shoot. He says the experience left him burnout and in a dark depression. He says he didn't feel better until six months after that movie wrapped. Now he says he has a more mindful exercise approach that includes yoga, stretching, and self-massage. Now, I'm glad he's in a better place, but Wisdom, that's the type of workout we see you doing all the time. Yeah, absolutely. So how do you stay both fit mentally and oh, physically? Well, question. you know, I don't give away my trade secrets, so let's just be clear about free. that. Uh, what is a self-massage? <laughs> Let's not go gloss over that. Anybody know what a... Well, <laughs> see, I this G-rated. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I know with the um, BBLs and, and other surgeries, people buy um, equipment to help them massage okay. in between oh. going to the doctor. That, it's yeah, like the Theragun, maybe. Yeah. It's like the yeah. Theragun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I got you. 
Yeah. Yeah. Your mind's out. Yeah. 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 You know what? Now, Same. But now it's coming around. Now it's coming around. You're right. Okay, I got it now. I was thinking something else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Zach has a lot of issues, it seems. So yeah. I think yeah. he didn't have surgery. I think he hurt the jaw. And then yeah. when you gain muscle and gain weight, a right. lot of times you gain it in your face. I don't yeah. know if I'm buying that, though. So it's similar to when women get, like, nose jobs yes. and they break their nose because someone <laughs> threw a ball at my nose and I had to get it fixed. So that's what it's giving. Falling in your socks. Twice. Twice. Come on. Come on, Zach. And yeah. then those diuretics. What about those diuretics? Maybe yeah. the diuretics Jesus. cause him to lose balance and fall and break his jaw. Dehydration. Dehydration. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And he had, in order to recover, he had to mm -hmm. self massage. There you go. To get back. See, it's all coming together. See, we're all a back team. to the self massage. It's all, all back, back to the <laughs> self massage. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's the phrase of the day. Thanks, yes. Chris. Right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Kim Kardashian. She's joining forces with a former partner at Carlisle Group, Inc. for her latest business venture. It's a new private equity firm called Sky Partners. The firm will make investments in areas like uh, consumer media uh, products, uh, luxury, hospitality, entertainment businesses, and so on and so on. Former Carlisle Group partner Jay Sammons, who famously helped to purchase the rights to six Taylor Swift albums, Ooh. will handle the day-to-day -day operations, while Kim plans to use her knowledge as an entrepreneur to help the business grow so another bag for Kim Kardashian. Okay. She mm. keeps winning. Yeah. 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 She gets to the bag. That's one thing that, that she does. Yeah. And I saw that her mom, Chris, is also involved in the deal as well. As we all know, Chris puts her hand in everything. Yeah. Um, but I do think that, you know, this is a smart move for Kim. You right. know, she gets a bad rap. I didn't really like that photo shoot she did with the blonde eyebrows and all that. I was that. just about to ask you about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. wasn't my favorite. But I will say that for Kim, you know, for someone who always is very vocal about right. helping out other people, mm -hmm. and, and she did say that this is yeah. something that she wanted to do. So the fact that she's now doing it, I mean, hey, she's a, what, she's a billionaire now, right? Yeah. Very like, close. If not. Yeah. Plenty of money. Yeah. Yeah. She's got plenty of money. More than I can poor. count. Yeah. 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 More than yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I definitely think it's great that she's doing more in the media, and she does help a lot of people, so I think this is wonderful. She does get a bad rap. Right. Her family mm -hmm. gets a bad rap. They yeah. do do good stuff, so. Right. I mean, and they do bad stuff, too, so. Right. <laughs> it's all about balance. It's all about balance. You got it. All right, well, let's talk about Janet Jackson now, because she is stepping back out into the spotlight, taking control over or New York Fashion Week, where she sat front row at last night's Christiana Soriano. Mm. I mean, I don't even know what that is. What is that? Yeah, is that a massage yeah. machine? Is that a self massager? A self massager? <laughs> okay. Uh, Janet was there to uh, watch the Soriano's uh, Spring and Summer 2023 collection, which took place at the former townhome of screen legend Elizabeth Taylor. Mm -hmm. Now, while Janet was there for uh, Soriano's looks, uh, he made sure to bow to the queen of pop That's at right. the end of the show. Janet was honored on Tuesday with the Icon of the Year Award during Harlem's Fashion Row 15th Anniversary Show and Styles Awards after party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. A legend you are. Yes. Yeah. She I was, was here for she's it. Greatness. Her whole, her whole it's, look, yeah. everything. It's yeah. so great that she's coming back, too. She's performing right. a lot more. Yeah. She's making more appearances. Yeah. She's sort of tucked away for a little. Right. And now she's back. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. had yeah. Line Essence mm -hmm. in uh, uh, New exactly. Orleans this yeah. year. She surprised so. Tiana Taylor at her show. Sure did. Yeah, yeah. 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 just last week. She looks great. Yeah, so Janet being Janet. Yep. Yeah. All right, okay. All right, I think we're done. I think we solved the world's problems in that segment. All four of us together.